So, um, so weeks ago, you know, um, I was walking down on the street, actually on my street. So, I wanted to go and pick something for one of my vehicles. So, I saw smoke coming out um, somewhere, from, actually from a house. Uh, on one of those, one of the houses on the street. So I actually thought maybe they were cooking something, maybe you know, um, you know, doing something that probably not destructive, and they were just being that smoke for the back of the house. So but later on, I said they hear him, like you know, uh, one or two people crying or something like that. Then suddenly. Uh, about two girls, more like two women, but two women, two or three, you know, uh, they, I saw them they just run out of that particular house that I saw the smoke, smoke coming out from the, the back of the house. So they ran out of, the, I ran out of the house, ran into the street and started wailing. You know what I mean, wailing. I mean, they were just, you know, like on a crying and shouting, something like that. Yeah. Or crying very loud. You know, it's as if something maybe uh what society called died. So as if somebody just died or something like that. You know? So just looking and they were just wailing, shouting, crying, beating themselves on the street. I was in on the ground. You know, you know, people were like Coming, I was like, what's going on? And they kept pointing inside the house, saying, fire, fire, fire. So, that was when it now occurred to me that that smoke I saw coming out was not just, uh, you know, more small or something that was, maybe they were cooking something that actually something, it was a, a serious thing that was causing that smoke. They just, they kept shouting, fire, fire. So, uh, you know, so what I did was I first rushed to the house. You know, there were other men there. You know, that natural instinct, or in men, you know, no matter what you do, that instinct is there as a masculine man. You know, to protect or prevent uh, a major catastrophe or stop something spreading. So I went into the other, in fact, most other guys we are scared to jump in, but I just, you know, what do I get to lose? So I jump in and it was very, very dark. It was dark. I, I think there was no light on the, uh, that day or that particular time. And um, so I wasn't expecting that, but it was very, very dark. So. Don't turn um to so cut the story short. I had to come out then went straight to my vehicle. When I went into the house, I met a young boy. A boy, not like a, a man, a boy. Probably like 17 years old. Between 16 and 17, something like that. He was inside the house. Including those women when that fire started. But guess what happened? All the women ran out. Those three women that were much, much older than the, uh, the boy, they all ran out of the house crying, shouting, on the fire, looking at the house, burning, pointing at the house, fire, fire, fire. Yet, that same boy, a very young boy, between, uh, maybe like I said, 15, 16, 17, was inside trying to stop that fire from spreading. Or consuming the entire house. Only him, a small boy, was inside that house doing everything he could. So I went in. So it was already on the ceiling, burning, spreading. Immediately I rushed back to the house. To my, I rushed out. I was like, okay, you know, in this that kind of thing, that's when your mind becomes very active. Okay, what's the best solution or the fastest way of solving this problem immediately hey my vehicle is here however um i have only one key of my car 
you know, of course, I have three cars. But at that point, it was one key that I was holding because I wanted to come and pick something for one of the cars. So I immediately rushed toward that car, opened up the boot, pulled out my fire extinguisher, rushed back to the house. Got there, of course, like I say, it was already on the ceiling at the back in the kitchen. Was he yeah, started burning the kitchen? Rushed there. Immediately I opened the fire extinguisher. Everything. I, I, I couldn't tell how long that fire has started, uh, all those things. Maybe it started even before I, I started seeing the smoke and they were, the boy was trying to stop the smoke. Or uh, it, it had been there or the woman tried to help and he couldn't anymore. He said that to the now one that had left the boy there in the room. So immediately, of course, I opened the fire switch, I positioned the nozzle and the whole smoke, the fire stopped. Of course, the smoke was still there. So I came out again. By that, by the time I came out of the house, other men have started coming, coming. Uh, I went back into my own house, collected the second key of my house, went and opened the, my second car, picked out the fire extinguisher in that car too. So even though the fire, we are no longer seeing any fire inside the house on the same anything, but from the roof, you can see, see smoke coming out. So that same young boy that was in the house trying to stop the smoke came out to myself and three other men this time men you know joined us too and we climbed the roof of that house so we are like five on that on the roof of the house. we climbed the roof while other women now came i'm talking about hundreds even i don't know <laughs> it was like a market square Everybody came, like a thousand or there about people, gathered around the house and they were hey, shouting, hey, look at smoke, hey, look, everybody was just there pointing, nobody even wanted to near the house. So four of us, we climbed the house, man, you know, we started, I also used, uh, the, the tools started begging, water, water, as they were doing that. So uh, we, what we now do, we started removing the zincs from the, the wood. I started pulling them up, peeling them off, you know. So eventually we got the source of that smoke because the smoke was seriously coming out, but we are not seeing like the fire come, but the smoke was coming. So maybe we put out the spot we had that was producing that smoke. We could see that, you know, the, the, the wood was still eating itself up with the fire. It was pure red. Meaning that after, you know, it was still spreading gradually, but it hasn't got spreading, producing fire. So I immediately I spread the fire is equal my second one there it stopped. And then I came down. Right alone. The owner the man of the house um uh, was not around when that thing happened. So he came back. Uh, like two, three hours later or something. So he later came. I was actually that night I was just outside. I think drinking my Guinness start or something, having a good time as usual. So he came and said, oh, because we actually, even though we are neighbors, we could call ourselves neighbors or we live in the same city, we don't really, you know, talk. You know, it's just like good money, good money, that sort of thing. So, and then he can say, oh, you are the hero. Thank you, this, that, that. I said, it's not really about hero. You know? Just being a man than being. I'm supposed to be, or I am not even supposed to be. You know, we act on our national instinct, which society try to emasculate from men. You know, the reason why I brought up this story, this thing happened. People, I'm, I'm, I'm not telling you fairy tales. I'm telling you about those of. If you are watching this video and you live on my street. You will understand what I'm talking about. You will know what where this thing actually happened. Very recent. You know, I'm telling you this story to understand why Roman Empire fell. The major reason or one of the reasons, one of the reasons, if not the major, Roman Empire fell was because the able-bodied men, the masculine men who were protecting Roman Empire, fighting, putting their life, trying to protect the Roman Empire, the women and the children. 
they could get to a point where because uh, the empire has been feminized, you know, they messed up the empire just like what's going on in the Western world. We are men, we are being emasculated. Women took over power position and started messing up the using laws to to you know to destroy men. So men now realized there was no point. What's the point? Putting their lives on the line, trying to protect women or protect the city. What's the point? So they started walking away from the empire. And the empire became weak, so weak that it couldn't protect itself and the fell. Now, to connect you to the story I just told, look at what happened. One man, one man, not, let me not say a man, one man, which is a boy, in the midst of five women, or three, about three to five women, not girls, women, we are in a house. And fire started. Guess what? The women ran out. And it was just the boy. And even though the boy couldn't do much, as a young as he is, yes, his brain was very active, he knew what to do. You know, masculinity is, is, I don't know how to put it, it's natural, it's biological, it's not something you manufacture. Like feminists and stupid people they put into position, trying to change. The, the, the biology now, trying to make men, women, women, men. That's how what you see now, you know, promoting the so-called uh, women empowerment. Hey, my women become more like men. Oh, men become women, become more feminine. Why women become masculine? You can't produce all these things. is just wear mouth by waste of mouth. Because when the real action comes, where men, but because you've emasculated those men, they can no longer act as men to do what naturally they ought to do to stop calamity from spreading or even starting off in the first place. They to consume. So the guy, the boy could do, even though he started doing his best, but eventually it was only men around, the masculine men around, bold and courageous enough, had to climb up on the roof. Even before I climbed up, I had to go and pull the distance using my everybody there. Almost all of them, but they have their car, but nobody even thought about fire scene, which I was. Everybody was so scared to get close, but I did. Imagine what would have happened if I have not gone there. If I say, okay, what's the point? My society can burn to hell. Oh, let the house burn to hell. And walk away. Now every other man say, okay, oh, I thought uh, women, uh, every what, whatever a man can do, women can do better. You guys, you are in the house. Oh yeah, stop the light, the fire, or else you burn up the entire house. If if the three or four, four of us that did not climb that roof have left, walked away and said, women, take care of your problems. What do you think would have happened to that house? It's not just that house. Because what would have happened? It would just spread to other houses. Um, what is going on in the West now, you can also liken it to Sodom and Gomorrah. You know, I uh, may not be a Christian, but there are some of the truths said in the Bible that I do appreciate. Okay? Sodom and Gomorrah is a, a perfect example of what is going on in the West, especially USA and Canada other European countries, not just Europe, even Asia now, you know. Men surrendered authority, gave women authority without giving them the responsibility that comes with the authority. And guess what happened? Women, they started changing the laws, making it, making Western nations to be exactly what the Bible says with regards to Sodom and Gomorrah. And what eventually happened? Sodom and Gomorrah was consumed by fire or destroyed. 
that was what the Bible says. But when you actually look at it logically, it simply means he consumed himself. They become so lawless, so, you know, everything just keep going because, of course, uh, empowerment, everybody be free, do whatever you want, no form of responsibility. Nothing, nobody checks who or this and that. Guess what happened? It became destroyed. And that's what's going on in the Western world. So I'm talking about U.S. I'm talking about specifically, this video is specifically about the U.S.A., United States of America. Not the... Other European nations are already fallen, you know. But the reason why I'm talking about this is because USA, as far as I'm concerned, police the entire world called planet. At least for the human beings, they police the earth. So if anything happens to U.S., see, let me put it in a different way. The reason why there have not been invasion of or invasion of countries by other countries, like we've been having in the past, one country invading another country to come take over the the governorship or own them, or you know for whatever reasons. Which kind of was a norm in the past, but now it, it has kind of stopped. The reason why that appears or has, has stopped for a while is because of USA. As far as I'm concerned, you may say whatever you want. There is, doesn't mean that some nations are not eyeing your countries so right now. You may think, or oh, your country is not eyeing another nation. They are not look, thinking, uh, if there is no big power over there, that will come and attack me if I try to attack this nation or if I try to invade them and take them, take over their world. If that country does not exist, I would have done this thing. Of course, you all knew what happened during uh, Iraq, when Iraq wanted to swallow Kuwait. You know, if USA did not intervene, of course, you Kuwait would have been consumed or, of course, Iraq would have taken Kuwait. So because of that, because, you know, most countries now, they are scared. Knowing that, oh, if they make that attempt, USA is going to retaliate. So because of that, they, they kind of stay stand away. So US is going to, if anything happens to United Nations, Ah, which was the United Nations. United States of America is going to be anarchy in the whole world. I'm not talking about just here. It's going to be chaos. As in, you see country, even people you thought, ah, we never do that. They will, the next day, they will come with their military might. Once they know that they, 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 over, they, they have more power than military, population and all that, they will invade you, take over your country, you become part of them, you become their slave. If any man is there in that country, they will probably bush out or kill all of them, take over their women. Or if the many men who, who will surrender, they may take them as captive or stop doing this for us, you become their slave. You know, people think in this modern time, oh, there are, uh, no one can be a slave in this time. Who told you that? Like I said, simply because the reason why any of this has not happened is because of USA. And from what is going on right now, <laughs> I'm not sure it's, it's very far from happening. What happened to Roman Empire? I consider USA the second Roman Empire. And what happened to that first Roman Empire may happen to the second Roman Empire. There are so many things that sometimes when I see going on there, you know, I feel so perturbed. Not because I live in the United States of America, but because I have, you know, People I actually care about are like, doing them. Because it, 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 it's, going, it's like everything is not leading to civil war, as, it, as if it's just a needle. 
a small thing that is holding up, say, you know, USA for going to a big time civil war. All because men, for some reasons, I don't know if this guy, ah, coming on. Okay, much better. Uh, as a monk, taking my, my yogurt. You see? All because men, for some reasons, decided to give women so much power to the point that they are using those power now to destroy men, create all kinds of law. That no matter what you do, as long as you, you are a man, biologically, you are fucked. I mean, fucked. Seriously. Now, men have been emasculated so point, to the point that even the same men are now exporting feminism in other countries. You know, in fact, even the same USA now, yes, they, everything has positive and negative. They may go into another country to protect, uh, you know, maybe another country is trying to invade another country. They go there to do blah, blah. Guess what will now happen? The, one of the rules or uh, condition for them to leave you guys alone is, oh, you must practice democracy. And the type of democracy they want is the feminine democracy. The one they give women, in fact, kind of centric. They, they want they they will give you a kind of since they want your society to transform into a gynocentric one. And it's going to lead to what happens to Roman Empire, Sodom and Gomorrah. You know, look at it. All con just if you are a Christian, just go to your Bible. It's always good to People think that, oh, history don't repeat itself, it's just a, a, a theory, jargons people talk about. No, it does. Just look, just go back. Look at what's happening now, look at what happened in the past, look at what happened five years ago, look at what happened ten years, ten thousand years ago, hundred thousand years ago. You see that it has repeated several times. Because, um, I don't know. Man, we messed up. No, we really do. We, we really messed up. But these days, I don't really bother trying to uh, make men understand because, you see, the more you try to, you know, to explain to somebody or to explain what we are doing and what the consequences. Oh, it, it's not just consequences, as in the the. Manifestation right now, you are experiencing it right now. Still, people still live in denial. It's like men just have chosen to be slaves, you know, no matter what, they don't care. They just that slave, they love and want it so much that any other thing is considered abnormal. To tell a man that being a slave is bad, it, to him it's like, no, he can't be in this life because this life is very, very good to be a slave. So get, trying to make him to be free is, it's, it's not an option. But what can you say? I mean, most of these men, like I said, I also passed through this program. You know, they've been so emasculated from from beginning, from childhood. So it's very difficult to change that foundation. The belief is already inside, as in the more like a core belief, a core belief that you are here to serve a woman. As in, nothing else you say, nothing else you do, nothing else you say can ever make that person have a a rethink. Doesn't mean women are bad, but to him, no. He is here for that. He is here to lick her ass, lick, do anything. As in, his life has no meaning if she is, if he is not a slave to a woman. It doesn't mean anything to him. So he will accept that slavery. But the funny thing is, they don't actually. They will sit there. You no, they are not slaves. Who told you? I'm in charge. I'm not easy. It, watch what he does, not what he says. Watch what he does. 
America, you, I don't know, I, it's, it's like, I'm not saying all hope is gone, because it's not written anywhere in, in the sky that, oh, this is, is going to, in the next five years or next few hours, America will be gone. They will have civil war, something will happen, and they will come. But when you look at the trend, how things are going, it's leading to that. You know, it's leading to that. Unless something else happen, maybe all of a sudden, majority of men, American men, will wake up and decide, you know what, let's change where this history is leading to. You know, let's not let, at least now, let's not let this history repeat itself in our own time. Let's correct it and, I don't know, you know, this analogy I gave, I was in, where women just run out of the house, where situation is, so, what do you think is going to happen if there is civil war? What do you think is going to happen? You think these women have come out of it with guns trying to protect if uh, another country invades the US? If men, if American men decide, oh, no, you know what, government, you messed up us up. American government, you fucked men in the ass. So, we are not doing anything. You go and fight that war. Who is going to do that, women? Seriously? Is it because of all these movies they do? Uh, uh, Hollywood, I mean, is it? Hollywood does and try to make women masculine, making all, all the women in the movies as if they are all masculine. Ah, they can beat men. Ah, they are very, very strong and that. Ah, they can fight wars. They are stronger than men. People watch so much movies and think that that is the real life. I just gave you an example. House was on fire. Just one house was on fire. About four women there couldn't do a damn thing. Yet a boy who is yet up to 18 years old was there. Even if the fire consumed him, he, he was not, that was not his problem. Will it happen? The fall of Second Roman Empire? Probably. Considering how things are going. Has it fallen already? Or yet to happen? Well, for US, they still have hope. I don't think it has fallen. Yeah, it's already up, about to fall because, I mean, things are already fucked. If you look at who is the current president, Donald Trump, is Donald Trump the perfect masculine man? No, I'm not saying he is. I mean, he, he still. He uh, told me if you, if, you, if you ask me, I would say he kind of leak women ass because to him he need them for him to win election. He need them because after all, they are majority voters in US. There are majority there that vote. So if you don't get women on your side, you are not going to win the election. They will vote you out. So he kind of do things for make them happy. Doesn't mean you cannot make them, but because women vote more than men because if you look at it it appears women are the majority women you have more women than men almost in every nation so giving them that power to vote means they will always vote for whoever that will be, do their will even if their will is we destroy the country they don't care if you choose, no, ah, no, I, I can't do this for you. There's another idiot. Another idiot, be it a man or woman, will just come up and say, hey, vote for me, I'll do this thing for you. they vote for that person. Even if all men, you as a side, okay, we're not going to vote for uh, this person that said he's going to make laws or policies that will destroy our country. Man versus woman. Women will vote more. <laughs> Eventually, they will vote, and the person they vote for will win, not the people men vote for. And what do the women usually vote for? Free things. They don't care the implication of making everything free, because they are, biologically that's what they want. They want something to be protect, to be provided for. 
to be protected, to be this. So at whatever cost, even if it's, even if you tell them, ah, let's use all the money in the, in the country's, uh, uh, you know, fund, service or whatever, to provide welfare for all women. They don't care. Yeah. If you want to finish it today, uh, guess I'll have to. Okay, I have a touch here. So, uh, see, you have to start the car. So, if the money finishes and the country goes into, uh, what is it called? The country goes into. Hold on. All right, much better. So even if the country's uh, money finishes and then they they go into um, famine, if I could say that, and the country becomes so famine that has a starvation, people start starving to death. You know who's going to be blamed? The same women that are voting politicians that created, that made the economy to be like that or made policies that made people to starve to death. That same woman will see blame men for allowing them to cast those for because as far as they are concerned, they don't have those responsibilities. It's not their responsibility. It's a man's responsibility. Women can never take a blame, understand that. So if you think, oh, it's our fault, you are wasting your time. It's always a man's fault. Any man nearby is his fault for whatever a woman does or consequences of action of a woman. It can never be a woman. That's kind of centric for you. So, of course, I've never voted. And I don't try, I don't intend to vote tomorrow. So I'm not advocating who, who gets to vote or who doesn't get, who doesn't vote. That's not my headache. That will concern me, but I'm telling you, democracy will ruin or destroy countries. It has started destroying already. So UK is already fucked. Sweden, fucked. I even had Germany now, it's already. I mean, these countries I'm talking about, man, can't even say anything. You see, even men over there, you don't even, you can't even carry a small knife. Everything has been banned. Women, a woman can come out of the street, you never see her, point at you and say, hey, he raped me. Back, you are in jail. Women have entered into politics and they've started making, proposing certain laws. Look at, uh, was in New Zealand, they are prime minister, a woman. Somebody went out mosque and shot a lot of people or killed some men. The next thing, she acted out of emotion and then changed the laws to exactly what that person wanted. The terrorist, the person that entered and killed, killed those people, he, she gave it to what the person wanted. Because she did not use her logic. Logic and reason was not there. All she cares was about emotion. You know, over there now in the US, all a woman needs is just find somebody to impregnate her, whether with your consent or not. I'm pointing to, hey, you pay child support for the nurse. Sometimes hey, you don't even have any sense with her. She will still name you as a father. Like I said, what happened in Roman Empire, the first Roman Empire may happen in this second Roman Empire, that is the USA, where men will be like, you know what? And tap. Men could just wash their hand and tap out and tell you guys, you know what? Government, go and do whatever you want to do. And then the nation will crash and get destroyed. But women, they don't really care. All they care is, oh, who is the next man around? Who is going to take care of me? Even if it's from Mexico, Mexico, or any other country. Oh, as long as there are men, men are always willing. They will go up, they will go. Even if they have to travel out of, go out of U.S., immigrate into another country. And go there and start to be a children for those men, and they will take care of. 
but you demand your gene, your culture, your tradition, your race will be white, just like Roman Empire. Even <laughs> Latin now, who still speak Latin? I mean, he's there. That's what happened. Once your country, once your culture, once you are gone, you are gone. I'm talking about your race, your tradition. That's what is happening. You guys are busy clamoring and uh, encouraging importation of immigrants, right? They're not coming to grow your country. They are coming to change or take over from you guys. In few years' time, you don't exist anymore, your culture. They are going to become the majority. Now, why? Because, let me put it this way, it's even very logical, you know. You said, oh, woman, you are giving you power, do whatever that way. And what would they want? They don't want marriage, right? So, the more educated women are, the less they are interested in bearing children. Even the ones that want to bear children will probably bear only one. To some even don't bother because it will affect their career. They want to compete with men, so they just go in and study, keep reading, keep getting all kinds of degree. Why they leave their biological purpose to mass to produce children? You know, guess what? Fine, U.S. Western world. This is what you want, right? Women, women empower them. Fine. That's what happened. Those other countries, those other countries that don't practice what you preach or what you people do, are the one producing. Well, which country? The one you call third world countries? The one that don't uh, give us the Muslim countries that don't give women all those rights you guys uh, 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 give women? Do all those things. Not really much of right. It's more like authority. Well, right. Call it whatever you want. You know. You do all those things. Encourage them to not to give birth. Encourage them even if you go about your child. Encourage them. Oh, you don't even need to. You just go. Come. Oh. Like Sodom and Gomorrah. Yeah, you, you, are very, <coughs> you don't want uh, to be with a man, right? Come. I'll, I'll marry you with another woman. You know. So, the idea of uh, bearing child or having children is gone. Since, after all, two women cannot produce child unless they want to adopt. Of course, so how many can you adopt? One, two. So, all this is now affected the Western world. Their child birth rates started dropping. As in, in a very scary number. So now, it's those countries that are not practicing what U.S. and other nations are doing. They are the ones producing. And now they are the ones, because they've seen that they are, they are, they are, their population is going down in a very scary percentage. So they're now importing people from those countries that are producing to come in so that, because they need people to pay taxes. There's no way your country can run. Without people, without population, you, you, there's no money. It's people that, put, people that produce money for the government, pay taxes and do so many things. That's where government make money from. So they have created all sorts of ways. They're calling it, calling it uh, um, charitable or whatever I want to call it. You can deceive other people, but you can't deceive every man. Call it whatever you want. It's your policies. It's the laws that you made that are biting you now in your ass. I'm talking about Western government. You you created a system of governance that that destroy the manhood, destroy family structures, destroy continuity, and say, hey, women, come and fuck men over. Don't bother about family anymore. Don't bother about following tradition. Don't bother about this and that. Hey, do whatever that way. We give you all these authorities. No, we don't give you... The, those are the responsibility that comes with the authorities are not attached to those authorities. Yet, men will have to have those. Every authority we give you, men will take over the responsibility. And we will remove those authorities from men and give you all the authority. And men will be responsible. So. 
shit and started going to bad. Just like it happened to Roman Empire, just like Sodom and Gomorrah, and so many other. I may not remember everything. I don't want this video to be too long. Maybe I'll do a second part. You know. So at least now you guys know what is going, going to happen. So if the Second Roman Empire fell, man, there's likely going to be a world war. There's likely going to be another world war. Even if it doesn't happen in your time. <laughs> you'll be like you'll be surprised that your country may invade another country immediately or your country will be invaded by another country. Who is going to who is going to fight for you? The country that fight for you is gone. You want to talk about who? Europe? Europe is already gone too. They already look at Sweden. There are some place itself. <laughs> You can't even say, as if Muslims have taken over some part of the, this thing, you know. They've changed so many things. Who is fault? It's not their fault. You can't blame the Muslims. You imported them. So they've taken over those places and say, you know what, your laws don't come, come, you know, it doesn't affect us. Or don't affect us. So whatever you're saying, we own this particular part of Sweden. You can't come in and tell us what to do. Isn't that what you guys wanted? The same thing you people are saying, hey, don't worry, you are, you are, you are, what's it called? Domestic abuse. Yeah, no, our women are suffering this and that. You've taken all those laws out of punishment to do this, telling me that even, even not giving your wife money is a domestic abuse. Yeah, the wife has a right to starve you from sex. But any time you say, ah, I can't give you this money because you need this money for this project, then it's an abuse. She can divorce you on that and rape you and do all kinds of financial things to you. Yet, you know, you went and imported the same people that is even their culture to do those, you know, not to give women those power and now they've taken over some part of your, I mean, don't you even see so much contradiction in what you guys are doing? To yourself. I wish I only care about, like I said, my the people. There are people I care about um, there in the West. Maybe you let you know what's going on. Maybe you don't. I wish you guys the best. For me, I'm a monk. I don't really care. The idea of <laughs> marriage, oh come on, <laughs> uh, it's, it's like, anyway, I've already done so many videos on that, so I wish you guys the best, and um, if it eventually happens, if US finally fail, or if it doesn't, I hope it does not, I, I don't even want it to, doesn't mean US is always right, doesn't mean everything they do is perfect. It doesn't mean they don't do negative things as well, just like every other country or every other human being or every other thing. You all do positive and negative things. So, if it virtually fails or if it doesn't fail, and if it fails, just know that I warned you guys. I warned you before time. That's the best I can do.